Uh, Andrew, nice meeting you, buddy. It's a pleasure. All right, so where where are we in Florida? Lake Wales, Florida. Lake Wales, Florida, and what do you guys do here? Build carbon concepts, hollow composite airboat propellers. You do it all right here? Everything except for the hubs, yes, sir. Okay, and then you get the hub uh, machine yeah. somewhere else. Hubs or? are outsourced up at a big machine shop in North Florida. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. And I know I, I, I walk in here into your lobby, and I can't help but notice that's not carbon concept. No, what's, what's going on with this? A uh, new addition. We're working with Whirlwind to try to get some more Whirlwind product in the heartland of Florida. Uh, local support, local dealer, and local stock. Wonderful. So you're, so you're stocking their whole line? or We're stocking most of it. Okay. Um, a lot of these cater to the boats in our area. Right. Um, we have a big car motor boat for two three to two seven ratios we've got some of the more racy blades and then we've got just our standard everyday two blade hunt prop so right that's that's the one i'm looking forward to installing right up there behind us that's the uh carbon max yes sir and you also carry the carbon max in yes we have the narrows or the ends uh we have the excaliburs razor x's ex's uh, more on the way wonderful wonderful so, I mean, that's a good relationship you've cultivated with uh, Whirlwind. And so, so wonderful. So Whirlwind and Carbon Concepts is coming together. I think, I think that's a really good option. So anyone could come down here to Lake Wells, Florida, and look at both, the, both your uh, options, right? Yes, sir. So we also have the full line of uh, Carbon Concepts blades. We don't stock quite as many of those. Mm -hmm. um, Honestly, we can't keep them on the shelf. We'll get three or four sets on there, and yeah. word hits the town, and our local guys come in and buy them up. Um, but we're trying real hard to stay ahead on the stock with Whirlwind on this one, and yeah. you can get a feel for what you've got from both brands. Right, so, so let's say I'm a new customer. I'm building my boat because that's, that's what, let's be honest, that's what airboaters like to do. They like to build their own boat. That's the wonderful thing about airboats. You build your own pretty much. Um, I'm bringing, I'm coming to you. I'm saying I got a 0540 engine what are my options what 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 are my options here that you're select offering whether you have the boat built or you're building a new boat i like to start at the prop and move forward okay we need to know what your wants and needs are for it you just tell me you have a 540 it may be a hunt boat maybe a ride boat maybe a race boat so okay. there's options for all of it um big ride boats you know a lot of times we'll like to focus on a three blade something real smooth real fuel efficient that sucks harmonics out of a motor just it's a great ride boat setup. A hunt boat, two blade, a lot more snappy. It's going to be better in the woods, twisting holes, doing things like that. Okay. You know, you want to go race blades, we've got Excaliburs, Razor X's, all kinds of stuff that you can really push the limits with. Okay. And me through all my options. We're, we've selected a prop. Um, do I take it home or do I bring my boat here and you guys install it? You can take it home. They're easy enough to install. Or if you want to, you're welcome to bring the boat up. We'll put it on with you, mm -hmm. for you, but with you. We like to show you the tips and tricks, how we adjust the pitch, add RPM, take RPM out, smooth the blades, track the blades. We'll do the whole deal with you and uh, hopefully leave as a friend. And you know you can always come back and have it serviced, inspected, readjusted, anything you need. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, obviously you're not making whirlwind props here, are you? No. no. Okay. So let's say, let's say I'm out. I damaged my whirlwind propeller. Can I bring it to you? Absolutely. We don't do a lot of repair in-house. We can check certain things, and we're a lot more familiar with the props than most of the public are. So we can tell you, yes, this is something that can be serviced, or no, it's not worth sending out to California. The hope is that we'll have a swap-in blade for you. So if you have some downtime waiting on a repair, we can put maybe just one blade out, or if it's not worth repairing, we can buy a blade back from you, put you in two new ones, three new ones, whatever it is. It at least gives you options. We can keep you on the water. That's that's really wonderful because I know Whirlwind is located out in California. So that's you're boxing things up, you're shipping it out. Maybe you're sending them pictures, you know, uh, um, trying to see what what your options are. But coming here is a, a wonderful option to have uh, for the local community. We're setting up the prop. There's a lot of rumors out there. More RPM equals more thrust. Where is that at? It's not always true. Okay. So first and foremost, the foil shape of the blade, the design, it is designed to spin at a certain RPM, produce peak thrust at certain RPMs across that airfoil. Okay. 
So just turning any prop faster is not going to give you better push. It may flatten out. You may not have enough push. The foil shapes may not be designed for this air to go over it at right. that speed. So you really need to listen to the recommendation of the prop manufacturer okay. and let them guide you towards selecting the right prop for the application and in the right RPM range. So safety is a big factor too. So there is some Absolutely. hazard to running it too fast. There aren't too many props that should be turned over 3,000, 3,100 RPMs. Um, and if you do, you have to understand the centrifugal force on the shank of the blades, mm -hmm. the flutter in the blades, all kinds of bad things can happen. So we want to keep it within the range of safety right. and also performance. So all the blades are designed to give you maximum thrust within an RPM range that is well within the limit of safety. Okay. So I was looking through the install instructions for the Whirlwind propeller and saying nothing over 3,000 RPMs. It was like, I think it was 2,900 was their recommended max. Yeah, and 29 static on the trailer really should be the max on almost any direct drive application propeller. Now, gearboxes, belt drives with the 2, 3, 2, 5, 2, 7 ratios, some of the blades are only rated to turn 2,200 RPMs. So we need to be real careful with all of that. You said some of the blades are only rated at 2,200 RPMs? Yes, sir. That's pretty slow. That is. <laughs> but when you've got a ratio cutting it in half. Yeah. You know. So we're worried about the, the force right here at the shank. There's just too much the faster you go. There is, but also, I mean, whenever you get these things up close to the speed of sound, mm -hmm. you know, a piece of sand is going to wear through that nickel leading edge real quick. Um, impacts a small nut or a washer is going to make a hole instead of bouncing off of it. We're putting tremendous strain on the shank of the blade. We're creating a real turbulent situation where the blades may see some flex mm -hmm. and some bend that they really shouldn't. Right. Fortunately, everything is designed and over-designed and really engineered to death to make sure that it's safe for the application, but we can't push the limits every time <laughs> on it. Well, that's a good point you brought up, that um, the wear, uh, sand going through it and other items, you know, maybe your shirt gets blown through the prop. If it's designed to make the uh, power at a lower RPM, you're just less wear and tear on the prop. Uh, so that, that, that is a good point you brought up. Now let's say, let's say I, I buy a prop, whether it be Whirlwind or Carbon Concept. What if I'm not happy with the prop and can I bring it back? We've all got a performance satisfaction guarantee. Okay. If you don't like it, we don't want you to have it. We'd rather give you your money back or work with you on figuring out another prop that suits your application. Uh, we don't want anybody to feel like they're stuck with a prop just because they bought it. Right. If you take it out and you put bolts and nuts and washers through it and all kinds of stuff like that, yeah, there's going to be a fear we're not going to take it back. But, yeah, if you're not happy with it, bring it back and we will work with you. Wonderful. So, I mean, if I go with one prop that you guys are offering, I mean, since you're offering the whole selection, I mean, I could really find, I should, should be happy with whatever I'm walking out of here. Yeah, if you can't find it in this shop, uh, you ain't going to find it. <laughs> I really like that. Um, so how long have you, how long has um, Carbon Concept been making propellers? So Carbon Concept is a relatively new company. Okay. We've only been building props under the Carbon Concept name for about three years now. However, all of our molds are remnants of Water Walker. Um, I actually moved Water Walker from Colorado to Florida about 10 years ago with two other gentlemen, and then I took over Water Walker. It has morphed into Carbon Concepts. We've got, brought a new partner on. Mm -hmm. um, and so we still build and service the Water Walker line of blades, right? but we're doing it under the Carbon Concepts name now. We've got new people, new materials, a whole lot more capability and expandability with it. Now, what, who is running these propellers in Colorado? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so that doesn't make any sense to have nope, a, the, a propeller manufacturer in Colorado. The, the gentleman who started the hollow composite airboat propeller, uh -huh. he was living in Colorado. Okay. So like the power shift that you have on your boat, mm -hmm. it says on the sticker, Ridgeway, Colorado. That was effectively his backyard 30 years ago. Okay. So it's developed and moved to Montrose, Colorado, and it's changed and morphed a lot over the years. And in June of 2012, we brought it here to Florida. 
well, it only makes sense to bring the product to the customer or at least have a local, you know, somewhere where you can drive to it and not have to. And that's what I really like you guys teaming up with Whirlwind because they're out in California. I there's no airboats in California, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, I think there's only two registered ones out there. So. Really? Yeah. So, I mean, it only makes sense for, you know, them to have a local footprint uh, somewhere where you can go and touch and, you know, feel their product before you, you don't have to order it all online or all out of a, a catalog. You yep. know, this, it really makes sense for them. To and, and we do free installations on any complete propeller setup. Uh, if you're just swinging by, you know, you're going to the lake and you want to stop in on a Friday or something, we'll happily take a look at your prop and all that stuff. We probably do two installations on average every week while running full manufacturing out of the shop here. So we love taking the time, getting to know the customers. And, you know, with Whirlwind being so far away, it is nice to have that link to Central Florida. Absolutely. So you brought the Carbon Concept propellers here to Florida. You were part of that. How long have you been here in Florida? I was born and raised in Florida. Oh, really? Down in Davie, Fort Lauderdale area, down okay. in the Everglades. Uh, built my first airboat before I had a driver's license, and I've been in love with it ever since. That's classic. Um, yeah. Yeah, so getting into airboats for a living was was the dream. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, now, you said you were here, um, you know, if anybody wants to drop in on Friday, are you guys open? Five days a week? Six yeah, days five days a week, Monday through Friday, eight to four. And just like today, we carry a bunch of Saturday hours, but only by appointment. Wonderful. Okay. So, and how can people get a hold of you? Uh, you can find us on our Carbon Concepts Facebook page or on our website at airboatprops.com or through our website. Wonderful. Yeah, I know I've been following you guys on Facebook and, uh, you know, so you guys did something recently with the autism awareness, didn't you? Yes, sir. The Lighted Up Blue Ride. It's the best event of the year. Wonderful. Uh, well, maybe I, I'm going to hope to get to that next year. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Must. Some of the kindest people you ever meet. Wonderful. Um, so you said you're a Florida boy naturally. Uh, here in Lake Wales, have you been seeing any changes here come through? Or Oh, it's exploding. We've got new air boaters every day, too. Yeah. So. Well, that's good. I mean, myself, you know, right there in the town of Lake Hamilton, our, our town is just growing by leaps and bounds, and Central Florida is just exploding. It, it's a good and a bad product problem to have, you know. And, but if they're bringing new customers into you, I really hope some of these new implants uh, embrace the Florida culture, embrace, embrace the airboating lifestyle. You know, there's nothing like it. You can't get out there with a kicker boat. There's nothing that can get you where an airboat can, as close as you can. You can stop. You can get out and look and enjoy it. Um, you know, not an airplane, not a, not a helicopter, but, um, I know I went away for a little while then I came back into air boating and just the community has exploded. The trails out in the marsh, the pavilions, the barbecue grills, the events is, it's the, the air boating community has really grown and I really like to see it. And it's just good people all around. We got these two, uh, I got the Carbon Max and the Carbon Max N3 blade out here. We got to install them. So you about ready to get our hands dirty? Yeah, let's go get sweaty. Uh, let's get out of here. All right. And cut. Cut.